Welcome in, and this is a new segment we are going to be doing every day. Well, almost every day. Uh, and then that is our pick em segment. And that'll be exclusive here for our members. The moment it, it drops, we'll drop it fairly early. If you're a non-member, if you're not a member, it will uh, drop shortly before first pitch of the first games. But if you want to get in on it early before the market adjusts and whatnot, becomes a me become a member today. Just two ninety nine. Come on, two ninety nine a month, and uh, we're talking about literally just over nine cents a day, and it helps uh, help helps us do this more for y'all, and hopefully, uh, y'all are going to look forward to this as much as we are. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm Mac McGee. If you haven't seen our other content before, we do. Uh, pitch by pitch, play by play, your Atlanta Braves for Braves Country Baseball. But we also do a lot of sports talk, a lot of sports gambling during the football season. And so we figured this year we're going to add a daily picks. Now, today's a little bigger than others because it's opening day. Happy opening day. And why the hell not? Because this could be one of the great seasons that we ever see offensively and whatnot. Get more into that down the road. But. Let's talk about today and the fact that on opening day, normally the offense is behind the pitching. The pitching usually has the advantage, especially because you get everybody's aces. So real quick, and don't worry, we will put this on the screen at the end. So don't worry about whether or not you, you've jotted it all down. You'll be able to uh, see it on the screen at the end, you know, hit pause and jot it all down. So first of all, I want to hit up our season long bets that we're going to give you one more time. We've done this in a couple of other videos today. We're just going to give you four of them. If you want to see more of them, they are in previous videos in our, uh, preview shows, look up for the, uh, the Atlanta Braves preview shows. And, uh, they are, they are there, but we're going to be betting on more than just Braves here. We're not just obviously the Braves and Phillies along with Mets and Brewers are rained out. So obviously we're not betting on that, but. We're going to tell you who we like today, and uh, hopefully we have another good year. 64% uh, last year in Major League Baseball, So, and uh, we, we won't give you a pick that's over minus 200, and we will keep up with the units. So there you have that. Uh, okay, year-long. We did really well with the year-longs last year. Hopefully this is more of the same. I'm giving you two unders and two overs on win totals. The first one I'm going to give you is the under 72 and a half wins for the Los Angeles Angels. I just don't think that they've got a complete team. Uh, Ron Washington has been given a chance to go in there and try to straighten it up. And though we're pulling for Ron, we love Ron. I just think he's got a tall, tall hill to climb in a very good division. Very good division. And when you think about the fact that he's going to have to face guys like the Astros, the Rangers, and the Seattle Mariners on a regular basis, that's going to be too tough of a task for the angels. 72 and a half wins. I just, I don't think they hit the 70 win mark. I think this is going to be one of the, one of the, one of the worst teams in baseball, not the worst. They're not going to be down there around where like the Rockies are hanging out, but it's, it's not going to be much better. I think you're looking at a team that's going to win about mid sixties. And I love the value at 72 and a half. We got these picks, uh, this week. So if, if your market changed, Kate, take that in consideration right now, because we're coming out of the state of Florida, we're, we're getting our numbers off the HR bet app, the, the, uh, the, uh, hard rock app. It's the only one that's legal and live in Florida. So that's the one we're going with. But if you have other numbers realize there, there could be an advantage to either jumping on what I say, because you get a much better number or maybe you go a different direction. All right. The next one, the Boston Red Sox, 79 and a half wins is what we got it at this week. I've seen it drop down as low as 77 and a half, 78 and a half on, on some books, but you can still get it at 70, 79 and a half wins on a lot of books. And I just don't think the Red Sox are going to be competitive enough to win 70. So you're talking about 
basically right at the mark of a winning season. Uh, yeah, winning season. You need 82 wins for a winning season. So to beat that, you have to get to 80. You're talking about right there at 500. Red Sox are not a 500 team. They didn't do anything in the offseason. Unfortunately for the fans, this is going to be a long year, I believe. And I'd also believe that they're going to be one of these teams that will sell at the deadline. I think they're going to want to look at a lot of different young players. And let's be honest, it's Cora's swan song. So there's going to come a point where they may just relieve him of his duties. I, When you consider the fact that, assuming Garrett Cole comes back, that's going to be a really good Yankee team. Baltimore didn't go anywhere. Year older, year wiser, year better. Toronto's still a good team. You still wait for them to show up, but whatever. And Tampa Bay is Tampa Bay. They're always going to look a little underwhelming when you look at the roster, but no one does it better than Tampa with less. I've got I've got to take the Red Sox at the minus 79 and a half wins. I just don't think they get there. Over wins. Teams I think they're being undervalued. Number one with the bullet, the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's still 83 and a half. I checked it this morning on Hard Rock. 83 and a half. Is the over-under? I believe the Arizona Diamondbacks are a team that's going to get darn near, not probably not right there, but right at 90 wins. I think they're a team that we're talking about an 88-win team, 89-win team, somewhere in that neighborhood. They're going to be fighting for the playoffs. They're going to be fighting for a wild card berth. They're not going to catch the Dodgers in the West in all likelihood unless the Dodgers absolutely implode because of this whole Shohei Otani uh, disaster. And then, of course, what are we really getting out of Yamamoto? $325 million didn't look great his first time out. But that, look, I throw that game away because much like in the NFL, the first game you you, you pitch, the first game, the first couple of weeks of the NFL, they got to get their feet underneath them. And it was, first of all, it was a travel trip. And it's, it's going to be a different environment pitching in Los Angeles. I'm not that worried about Yamamoto. The other win, the other team works. We're staying out west. We're staying out west. I think the San Francisco Giants are going to get over 81 and a half wins. I think those are going to be two of your wild card teams. The Giants, I see somewhere around the 85 win mark. I think they're being undervalued. I'm a little surprised that it's still where it is. The addition of Blake Snell, though, we know he won't be on the team out the gate. The fact that Look, they brought Chapman in. They still had a pretty darn good pitching core. And I think San Francisco will score enough runs. I do believe, even though it is in a big park, I do believe that Jorge Soler being in the middle of that lineup is really going to help solidify that lineup. I think they're going to be a fun team to watch. So give me San Fran over 81 and a half, Arizona over 83 and a half, Angels minus 72 and a half, and the Boston Red Sox minus 79 and a half. All right, as far as today's games, who do we like? We're going to hit you real quick on these games. These are, I think, pretty straightforward ball games that you can go to on the bank. First of all, let's go to the San Francisco-San Diego game. Logan Webb, you Darvish on the mound. First five innings, give me minus four and a half. I don't think it's going to be a very... High scoring game. Like we talked about, the pitching's normally in front of the hitting. And you're talking about a Giants team that, that their pitching is going to be really good. Their offense is going to be so explosive. And that's a really good pitching matchup. I wasn't sure how they were going to do that with, with the Padres and you, Darvish, but they had him pitch in game one of the Soul Series, and he's back at it for the opening day. Uh, not all teams go that route, as we all know. All right. Um, the other game, the other game, this one intrigued me. Another first five innings under four and a half runs. Pablo Lopez versus Cole Reagans. Royals, Minnesota, not two of the more dynamic offenses last year. And these are going to be two of the more fun pitchers to watch. Give me the first four and a half. I love this. It's sitting at minus 165 this morning. Um... By the way, the, the Giants one was a, a minus 145 on the, the Giants-Padres game, minus 145. So give me those two games, and then 
I'm taking a couple of money line bets today. Ones that I think have pretty good value. The Detroit Tigers are in Chicago to face the White Sox. It is, and I am, I am curious to see what Garrett Crochet is all about. And I thought about taking the under on this one, but I, I, I didn't want to give you all unders, all over unders. So I went ahead with some money lines, but. Tarek Skubal, I think, has a very good chance of the AL Cy Young. He's going up against a bad White Sox offense. Garrett Crochet, Detroit's going to score enough runs to get this win. It's only minus 175. Give me the Tigers. And the last pick of the day, the only thing that concerns me about this, and I almost didn't put it on the sheet, this game between the Orioles and the Angels in Baltimore, Camden Park. Look, we all know what just happened in, in Baltimore with the bridge. You just wondered, did that disrupt some things? So it made me a little nervous. But I just think that, look, the Orioles are going to have a great season. Hopefully th that didn't affect them too much. And the Angels are not a good team. And though they've got some fun and exciting players here and there, they're not a good team. And it's Corbin Burns. I think he's going to be excited to come out the gates. Patrick Sandoval, who's a, who's a solid pitcher in his own right, but Baltimore gets to them. That one is sitting at minus 195 this morning on Hard Rock. And I will, from time to time, cross-reference it and give you an idea of what's going on on the ESPN bet because I know a lot of folks are using that. It is a minus 190 on there uh, this morning. So right there. So we're right on, underneath the cusp. That's it. Going to get out of here. Most of these videos are going to be much, much shorter. And uh, good luck, good betting, and we will see you. Manana, become a member today if you haven't already. <laughs>Look what I did. I told you I was going to put the picks up there at the end. Here are the picks at the end. That's my bad. We're due to this. We haven't done these in quite some time. And uh, here you go. Those are the bats. You want to pause it. You can pause it now. Now we're going to head out. It just wasn't worth re-recording re this whole thing. I'll be honest with you. <laughs>